What is up you guys? I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be on my flawless foundation routine. This is kind of the routine that I've been wearing for the past like three or four weeks or so without much change to it and I've really been liking the way that it looks. Um, all of this is going to be from the drugstores. This is going to be like a drugstore flawless foundation routine just because like I said this is what I've been doing recently. It's all affordable, it's all drugstore, it's all cruelty free and I've just really been enjoying the way this whole routine has been looking on my skin so I wanted to share it with you guys. Don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you do like these videos and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it sorry if my eyes are a little red I've just put my contacts in and they kind of haven't like settled yet so they're super bloodshot at the moment but to start off the routine I'm gonna be using my wet n wild photo focus foundation in cream beige this is a foundation I have really been loving this summer I really like the way that this matches my skin tone when I have a little bit more of a tan on I really haven't been loving any primer so really I just moisturize my face and then go in with this this is a pretty matte foundation so I don't find that I have like a hard time with it getting oily throughout the day although I do still set it so I'm just gonna take my eco tools beauty blender and just blend that all over my face Something else I really like about this foundation is it has this little kind of um, like scooper so you kind of just get to dab this straight on your face instead of having to put it on your hand and then rub it somewhere. And then like I said, I'm just going to take my eco tools and blend that out. Another thing I really love about this foundation is it's supposed to be like a very matte foundation, but if you can see it has a super natural finish on the face. It definitely does dry down if you let it kind of set, but I just feel like it has more of like a satin natural look even though it is more of like a matte foundation. And it's only $5.99, so this is a super, super affordable foundation. Then to pair with that, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer. I love these two together. I kind of took me a while to come around to this concealer, but I now really love it. And it just happens to be one of the concealers that I have a darker shade because I am tan right now so I can't use my like super fair concealer shades so this is in light medium beige Something else I really like about this concealer is I feel like it's one of those where you can use a lot of it and it doesn't get too cakey on you, which I actually really like. Like, I love my shape tape, but I feel like it gets so cakey so quickly, so I like that this can kind of like build up. So to set under my eyes, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana, and I'm just going to take this e.l.f. Uh, blush brush and just like I said set right under those eyes. This is an awesome awesome brightening powder So it keeps the under eyes nice and bright while setting them and it keeps under the eyes so soft too It's such a nice powder now to set the rest of my face I'm gonna be using once again the wet n wild um, photo focus pressed powder compact I don't know why wet n wild is just kind of like the brand that I go to more than anything else I mean I love Milani I love NYX obviously like for um, like drugstore brands, I've used them a lot. But just when it comes to those like everyday products that I grabbed, I really, really love these Photo Focus products a lot. So I don't know if you can tell by that, but my face just has a really nice kind of like finish to it. It doesn't look too powdery or too kind of like cakey. It just looks really natural. It looks kind of like luminous, but also kind of matte at the same time. So. Next, what I'm going to do is, this is kind of a step I wouldn't always do, but if I'm going for like a night out or like a really full coverage kind of like foundation day, then I'm going to go ahead and contour, which I've kind of gotten out of this. I haven't been contouring as much, but we're going to do it for the heck of it just because like I said, if it's going to be like a big event or something, then I will do this. So this is just going to be my Giordana Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick in the shade Medium. And to blend that out, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. And you always want to buff upwards, not downwards. And once again, a step I would not normally do on a daily basis, but we're going to go ahead and bake this for the sake of this kind of like full, full coverage, flawless look. And to be doing that, I'm just going to be taking my NYX HD Studio uh, Finishing Powder in the shade Translucent. 
then just taking that sharp edge of my beauty blender. Now for my blush, I'm going to be using an oldie but a goodie, just the um, Milani Luminoso. And I'm taking my e.l.f. complexion brush for this. Such a beautiful peachy shade. And then I'm just going to wipe away powder. Taking an RC Cosmetics brush along with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm just gonna use that to warm up the face just a little bit over top of that contour. All right, and then to finish up the face, I'm gonna be taking my e.l.f. Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. This is technically a bronzer, but when I am nice and tan, it looks like a beautiful highlight. So I'm gonna be taking that and just highlighting tops of the cheeks. Put on the nose. about the eyebrow. Now something that I've been loving to do is to take my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Setting Spray and as soon as I finish my foundation, especially my highlight, I like to spray this on. I feel like this really melts my highlight and kind of gives me back a little bit more of like a dewy look. So I like taking this first. And just kind of like I said, letting this kind of like melt all that contour and that highlight together. I feel like it does a really good job at just like getting in there. I do think it sets your makeup well, but I think it's almost more of like a melting kind of like setting spray, which I do really like. It just gives a little bit more of that like life back to your skin. And you may think this is overkill, but once I have that initial um, photo focus setting spray melted into my skin, then I go over it with the Milani Make It Last 16 Hour setting spray I just feel like this stuff is more glue for your skin than like everything that I just feel like it really really keeps your um, makeup in place all day long especially if you're gonna be out for like an event which is kind of what I'm like doing this kind of like foundation look for so so yeah I just finish up with this and layer it over top I don't do as kind of thick of a layer but I just feel like I said this is like glue to the face I will say this spray is also much more fine than this one. You kind of have to be a little bit more careful and hold it a little further back. So this one I feel like is a perfect like actual finishing like last step spray. So yeah, that was the final step. This is the end result. Like I said, this would be like this would be a little bit more of an intense kind of like foundation for me. I wouldn't wear this on an everyday basis, but this is kind of like my flawless foundation routine, all from the drugstore, all super affordable all super doable price wise so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and i will see you all in my next one bye